Hey guys, for today's video, we are gonna try out the reverse heatless curls. If you have not seen this video, it is from this creator right here. That's where I saw it first. Her name is Shanae Scott. I hope I pronounced her name right. I will link her video down below, so be sure to check hers out. But I saw it and I thought it was really smart, really cool, and I've never tried it before, so this is like a first impression video. So these are called reverse heatless curls because you are starting from the back and doing it all the way to the front. So you guys know I'm a huge fan of robe curls. They are my favorite. I probably do them two to three times a week. They're the best. Um, so I will link my videos in my description box if you wanna check them out. But to do heatless curls, I always just use a robe tie. So I will just put it over my head like this. This is the exact one I use. Section my hair off into two sections. And then I just do my robe curls. So the only thing I don't like about this method right here is it leaves a little section in the back not curled like the front so that's where the reverse curls come into play because it's supposed to just make it you know even all the way around your head so if you don't know how to do robe curls this way let me go ahead and play you a clip real quick what you want to do is grab a section of hair on each side of the robe and to start out we're going to take the front section and we're going to go over the robe and then we're going to go back under the robe and hang on to it with that same hand do the same thing with the back section. We're gonna take that and we're gonna cross it over the robe and then we're gonna go under the robe and hold on to it. And now we're doing the same steps but we're adding in hair. So I'm grabbing a section right next to the front section, adding it in and then crossing that section over the robe and then taking that section under the robe and then just holding on to it with that same hand. And now we're doing the same thing with the back section, just grabbing a section right next to it and adding it into our back section and then taking that section and we're crossing it over the robe and then taking it back under the robe and then holding on to it. And then we just keep repeating. What I do right now, if I want the back to be like fully curled is I will just tie two robe curls or two hair scarves together like you will see in this clip right here. And I just do three sections. So I will do two sections on the side of my head, one section in the back, and then just do my regular robe curls and then boom, my hair is curled all the way around. And I love that method. She did do a zigzag part. Um, so I'm gonna copy her and do a zigzag part. This just makes it so you don't like have a definitive part line, I, I guess. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad for my first try. Now here I'm just tying away one section. Okay, now instead of putting our robe tie on like this, we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna go ahead, make sure it's even, and then I'm just gonna clip this side. Okay, you wanna flip your head over and start at the bottom of your head. Grab a section of hair, split it into two, and then you're gonna take your robe tie and just put it right in between those two sections. And just like I showed earlier, you're gonna take one section, cross it over the robe tie, under the robe tie, back in that same hand. Do the same thing with the opposite section, cross it over the robe tie, under the robe tie, back in the same hand. Now we're doing the same steps, except we are now grabbing a section of hair, adding it in, and doing the same thing, crossing it over the robe tie, under the robe tie, back into that same hand. Do the same thing with the opposite section. You're gonna grab a section of hair, add it in, make sure it's nice and smooth, and then cross it over the robe tie, under the robe tie, and then back into your same hand. Now you just keep doing this all the way up your head, adding in hair, and then just crossing your sections over the robe tie, under the robe tie. Remember, you're hanging on to the two same sections the entire time. You're never crossing them and you're just picking a pair as you are going towards the front of your head. Um, but it's the same steps the entire time. The trickiest part is not being able to see. And I, I, this isn't beginner friendly, let's just say that. Um, definitely practice doing it on the side of your head. And if you like the way these curls look by the end of the video, then great. I just hope that you have the technique down. Otherwise, this is gonna be really challenging for you if you've never done these curls before, so. Again, just practice on the side of your head and then attempt it this way. Because even for me, this was a little challenging to do, um, but I did manage. The hardest part is obviously not being able to see. You just kind of have to picture it in your head um, and hope for the best. <laughs> 
I'm definitely curious how these are going to look in the morning. Like, does this make that big of a difference? I don't know. Now, once you add in all your hair, you just do the same thing, crossing your sections over and under the robe tie, and you do it all the way down. And then once you reach the bottom of the robe tie, then you can tie it off with a clear elastic or hair tie. I think I just use a hair tie. Whatever you have will work. We just want to make sure our ends are nice and secure so they don't unravel throughout the night because that would not be good. <laughs> So let me show you what these look like real quick. So this is what we have going on. It almost kind of looks like a French braid, but it's not a French braid because we're holding on to the same sections the whole time. With a French braid, you are crossing your sections over and switching them all the way down. Um, this, we're just wrapping it. Here's what it looks like from the front. Here's what it looks like from the back. I did a horrible job at zigzag parting, but it's fine. <laughs> now I'm just gonna take it cross it, cross it, and then take it up front and tie it. If you wanted to, you could wrap it up, put like a bonnet, shower cap, something, whatever, if you, you know, are a crazy sleeper and toss and turn all night, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. I forgot to mention, I did not use any product, nothing. I didn't even wet my hair, nothing. So my hair is just a blank slate. I did wash it with shampoo and conditioner a few hours ago, but other than that, nothing is in it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello guys, it is the next day. We are looking kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I'm hopeful they're gonna turn out beautiful. So let's go ahead and just unwrap them. Okay, if you hear my son, it's because he's right here. He's still in his gym, you see? Hi, hi YouTube. He's got crazy hair. Okay, here's what it looks like right off the robe tie. Haven't brushed it out with my fingers or anything, and it looks really good. Um, I'm hopeful the back looks just as good, so we're just gonna kinda shake them out a little bit and see what we get. Okay, here's what they look like. Beautiful, they look so good. I was a little worried about how it would look if I parted my hair, but I think it looks outstanding. Um, true test is the back. So let me just flip my hair around here and let's see what it looks like. I love these curls. 10 out of 10, they are beautiful from my root down to my ends. Beautiful from the front to the back. I mean, curls all the way around, you can't beat it. I really like this method. I will say it was a little hard to do, you know, at first, especially if you're a beginner to this method, you're probably gonna have a hard time with it. Um, after I had my head bent over and I flipped it back up, I could feel like a cramp in my shoulders, but that's probably just me because I'm out of shape and getting older, so. <laughs> I'm sure with time it'll get easier. But other than that, I slept well in them. I'm a side sleeper, I'm also a back sleeper. So I got to experience both of those sleeping positions with this hairstyle and it was no issue with me. Um, I really like them, I really do. They're beautiful, look at them, so pretty. If you are someone whose curls loosen up a lot or they just like fall out, definitely consider using like a mousse or a styling cream prior to wrapping your hair. That is it, that is the video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're gonna try this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.